Hey everybody, I'm Brad and this is Cyberfluidics from Tattoo Smart. This advanced video is for those of you who find yourselves always wishing to change the angle of the patterns after you draw them. The strategies I teach you in this video will unlock some new possibilities with the brushes using the orient to screen setting to create unique patterns with the brushes. Hello everyone. So I almost had a lot more brushes in this set and I really had to reel it back though. There was going to be an entire extra set that was going to be a horizontal variation of the isometric super family. And what that means is you see here how we have a vertical line and a 30 degree angle. Well, instead of that, it was going to be like this, where it lays flat this way and there's a 60 degree angle. Well, I got rid of this um, for the obvious reason was just going to be way too much going on, but it brings me to talk about in this video, orient to screen, which is a setting that you can find right over here in properties, right there. And let me show you the difference. I have here two copies. One, one I made a copy of hex invert, and I put a little TV onto it to show that orient to screen is turned on on that version. But if I take the normal version, Let's do a little splotch with it. And if I turn my canvas, you'll see that the grain stays locked in with the canvas. It continues to align back in with all the other brush marks that I've made. But as soon as I turn the canvas more than 45 degrees, it'll actually, the grain pattern will turn 90 degrees. See here, instead of these vertical lines and a 30 degree angle, we have a horizontal line and a 60 degree angle. So this is useful. You can use the entire isometric set horizontally just by turning it this way onto any, any sort of work that you're working on here. You could also go into the grain and turn that, which I can show you here. I'm talking about it as well. Come into here, click edit, and then you just want to turn it just like that. If you want, if you want that to happen, but I want to talk about orient to screen. So let's go to my brush where I have that setting turned on. Make a brush as normal. Now watch as I turn my canvas just a little bit. You see it's actually lining up to the iPad and not the canvas. And this aligns with that original brush. And if I turn it just a little bit more, a little bit more, and it stays constantly in line with the screen. This is useful. Here, well here let me go to an example. This is a part of this design that I made this way. Let's turn this off, make a new layer real quick. All right. If I want these hexagons to be turned this way, normally I would have to brush them in this way and then come to the move tool and actually turn them manually this way. And I, you know, I actually might prefer to do that in a lot, in, in most cases, which is why I left it off. Uh, the other option here, though, like I said, with orient to screen turned on, is I can actually just turn the canvas a little bit, just like this. And that way, I can get, I can be a little bit more intuitive about, like, as I actually brush, I can actually see the progress that's happening as I do it. To me, though, it's a, the difference is really split, and I, I chose to do some, go with something that was a little bit more sturdy, because uh, it gets really finicky. Orient to screen is turned on, but. It will always work as long as you're lined up as the camp as long as the canvas is lined up with the screen. To make sure that it is, just pay attention to the grid in the background. 
back here. You can see that my angle is just slightly off. If I turn it a little bit, maybe more than five degrees, it'll stay this way. But as soon as I get within just a couple of degrees of parallel, it'll snap into place. That makes it much easier to have oriented screen turned on and still be able to stack your brushes. So let's turn my brush or my canvas this way. And I want to do some patterns in this way. But you see now I moved it. And it's really hard to come back into the same place that you once were when it's like this. So if I just keep it this way and I brush it in, and now let's say I want to use another brush. Let's go to another one that, ha that I have oriented screen turned on. It's hex large. And you can see that these are lining back up. But as soon as I crack that open and I break that seal and I try and come back to it, no, nope, it didn't align. Nope, it didn't align. Let me try as best as I can. Let me see here. Maybe like that. Oh, it's so close. It's so close. It says it's basically impossible though to get back to the same place once you actually move your canvas. So that's the that's a huge problem with turning orient to screen on. I have not figured out a way to actually snap your canvas into angles. I I do not know about it. If you do, please let me know. That, I believe that's about it for Orient to Screen. I would, though, here like to cover a few of the other brushes and something, a few brushes that are relevant to all of this turning around. Let's pull out Truché. I'm oh, sorry, Memory. It's a Truché pattern, but I just called it Memory. Now, orient to Screen is not turned on in this. And that's not what I'm talking about here. What I'm talking about is actually changing this angle here. And let's look at this pattern more spread out as it is. This is sort of zigzag kind of pattern with these hook, hook like arms coming off of it and they're stacked up against each other. And uh, if you want to actually, you can change the angle of that and combine it with the previous versions because these nodes, these points here stack. And this is what I mean. See there? So now the pattern is drifting this way. And now it's drifting this way and we're getting this cool intersection happening here. Now it's drifting that way. This is something really cool that you can do with a truche brush. Some other notable brushes that can take advantage of turning the canvas around is let's take nano, nano invert or nano. All right, and if you just turn it 180 degrees, it lines back up, up, up into itself on the grid, but the pattern is turned upside down. And you see how it gets this. There's this new pattern that emerges that that couldn't be done by the with the brush by itself. With all of these isometric brushes, though, you can't turn it on its side. It's just the the angles are incompatible. Really, it just does not work that way. Uh, another brush here is Frag. This one works. Well, this one can be turned, the canvas can be turned 180 degrees to get a new result with the same brush. See here, we can just add a little bit more. Brush dye. 